It was a cold, wet day in Chicago, but it didn't seem to slow up Joe Namath, who went three for four in his first possession, including this perfectly placed 30-yarder to number 88, Rich Castor, which put the Jets out front 7-0. But it's not only Joe's arm that makes him great, because you just never know where he's going to throw the ball. Joe's eye deception routine paid off on this big gainer to number 44, fullback John Riggins, who carries down to the Chicago 24-yard line where a blindside tackle uncorked the football. But Riggins' fumble was a New York windfall as number 43, rookie Clarence Jackson, scooped up the football to complete a rather bizarre 58-yard scoring play. The Jets lead 13 to nothing. Joe Willie was hot last Sunday, and on this second quarter 77-yard drive, Joe looked to number 83, Jerome Barkham, to finesse the Jets downfield. At the 18-yard line, Joe called on number 44, John Riggins, who set up a three-yard Emerson Boozer touchdown, which made it 20 to zip the New York Jets. But just before the lopsided first half ended, number 19, Gary Huff, lobbed a pass to number 83, Charles Wade, that could have been taken as a sooth sign of what was to come. Sure enough, at the start of the second half, Gary Huff and his Bears were on the Jet 11-yard line, where Carl Garrett made a one-arm stab that put Chicago on the scoreboard. On their next possession, Huff and company were back for more, and number 26, Carl Garrett, was showing the way. Second-year man Gary Huff concluded the 51-yard drive with a highly poised checkoff pass to number 86, tight end Bob Parsons. That moved the Bears to within six points of the Jets, 20 to 14. But in the fourth period, when Chicago's threat was at its peak, Joe Namath coolly responded with a 59-yard drive, which Bobby Howfield concluded with a field goal that would prove decisive in the game's outcome. Where Chicago responded with an extemporaneous 28-yard pickup by number 17, Ike Hill. And although they succeeded in scoring on this drive by game's end, the infuriated Bears found themselves victimized by Joe Namath's charisma, a man whose presence is good for two points any old time.